What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to graph a line when you're given just a point and a slope, okay? So we're gonna go through a few examples. So let's start with this first one right here. So this one says, graph a line passing through the point two, negative one, whose slope is, the slope is equal to three over four. Okay, so the first thing we can do here is plot the point that's given to us right here. So two, negative one. Okay, so let's plot that. So starting from the origin, go over one, two, and then down negative one. Okay, so this point right here is two, negative one. Okay, and then the other thing that's given to us is the slope, right? So the slope is equal to three over four. Now, if you remember the most basic definition of the slope, is that it's equal to the rise over the run. Okay, so the rise right here tells us how many spaces the slope changes vertically, or in other words, up and down, right? And then the run right here tells us how much the slope changes horizontally, or in other words, side to side. Okay, so here, this is positive three, right? So we're gonna go up three spaces, and then this is positive four, so we're gonna go over to the right four spaces, okay? So going back to this point that we were given, all you have to do is go up three spaces, so one, two, three. And then we're gonna go over to the right four spaces. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so now we found another point on our line. Okay, so really quick again. Again, all you have to do is start from the point that we were given, so two negative one, and then our slope was three over four, right? So the rise right here is three, and then the run was four. Okay, so that's how we landed at this point right here. And now that we have two points, that's all we need to graph a straight line, okay? So you just have to draw a straight line between these two points. Okay, so a straight line would be right here, and we'll extend the line as much as we want, okay? So here is your line that passes through the point two, negative one, right? Two, negative one was right there, and has a slope of three over four, right? Up three over four. Okay, and then if we went up three spaces again, so one, two, three, and then went over four spaces again, one, two, three, four, you can see we hit another point along this line, right? So we know we graph this line correctly. Okay, so now I just quickly wanna show you a couple trick questions that you might see. Okay, so this is still the same problem. So it still says graph a line passing through the point two negative one, and then here I'm gonna change the slope. So we're gonna say whose slope, so we're gonna say the slope is equal to zero, and the slope is equal to undefined undefined okay so let's start with this first one right here so the slope is equal to zero okay so first of all we're gonna do the same exact steps so it says graph a line passing through the point two negative one so first thing I'm gonna do is plot this point right here two negative one so again that's gonna be going over two and then down one right so that's two negative one and then we're gonna say the slope right here is equal to zero so if you ever see that the slope is equal to zero, that's always going to be just a flat horizontal line, okay? So we just have to draw that flat horizontal line and make sure it passes through our point right here at two negative one, okay? So this line right here has a slope of zero and it passes through our point right here two negative one, okay? So that's how you would deal with a slope of zero. Now let's go to, let's undo that real quick, and go to the next one right here where it says the slope is equal to undefined. What does that even mean? Okay, just chillax, all right? So again, the problem says graph a line passing through the point two negative one. So again, all you have to do is graph your point right there, which is at two negative one. And then this says your slope is equal to undefined. Okay, so if you ever see that the slope is undefined, that means that your graph right here, or the line, is gonna be completely vertical. And it's gonna be running through this point that we plotted, right, two, negative one. Okay, so it would just be along this line right here and it runs through our point right there, right, two, negative one. So this line right here 
has a slope that is undefined. And again, it runs through our point right here to negative one. Okay, and in case you need an explanation as to why that is with these two examples right here, I'll link a video to that in the card above, but that's kind of like out of the scope of this video. It would make this video super long, but I just wanted to quickly point out that in case you do see one of these types of tricky type of slopes, at least now you know how to graph them, okay? So if you ever see the slope is equal to zero, it's a flat horizontal line. If you see the slope is undefined, that's a vertical line, okay? So with that being said, let's move into our next example. Okay, so this next problem right here says, graph a line passing through the point negative three, negative three, whose slope is equal to two, okay? So again, first thing that we can do is simply plot our point right here. Okay, so negative three, negative three. So that's gonna be going back three and then down three, right? So that point right there is negative three, negative three. Now it says the slope is equal to two. Okay, so remember the slope, M, is equal to the rise over the run, okay? Now here, it's just giving us two. But if we wanted to write two, as a fraction, we could write it as two over one. And we wanna write it as a fraction because our slope is a fraction, right? We have something on top and the bottom. So the slope of two, we can again rewrite it as two over one. So right here, our slope is two over one. Okay, and just to be clear, this is a positive two, which is why we have a positive two on top and a positive one on the bottom. Okay, so here the rise is gonna be two and the run is gonna be one. Okay, so we're gonna go up two and then over one. Okay, and then all we have to do is come back to our point right here. So we're gonna go up two, so one, two, and then go over one, so right there. Okay, so we found another point that lies along our line. Okay, so now that we have two points, all we have to do is draw a straight line between them. Okay, so this line right here passes through our point right here, negative three, negative three, right? And it has a slope of two, or in other words, two over one, right? Up two over one, up two over one. Okay, now let's try one last example that's gonna have a negative slope. Okay, so this one says, graph a line passing through the point negative three comma two, whose slope is, so the slope is equal to negative five halves. Okay, so again, the first thing we can do here is plot our point right here, negative three comma two. Okay, so then coming over here, we're gonna go back three and then up two, right? That's negative three comma two. So there, there's our point right there. Okay, and then our slope. Remember the slope is equal to the rise over the run, okay? And in this case, it's equal to negative five halves. Negative five halves. Okay, so now this negative sign, do you apply it to the top or the bottom? Because you can't have it in both, right? Because if you had something like negative five over negative two, well, these negative signs cancel each other out. So then here we actually have positive five over two, right? But positive five over two is not the same thing as negative five over two. Okay, so in a case like this, what you have to do is take your negative sign right here and either put it at the top or put it at the bottom. Okay, so you can have either negative five over positive two, or you can have positive five over negative two, okay? Either of these will work, and they will both still give you the same answer, okay? And I'm gonna use both of them just to show you that you'll still get the same answer. So first of all, let's use this one right here. So negative five over two. So remember, this top number is the rise, so it tells you how much you move up or down, right? But as you can see, this is a negative five. So this means we're gonna go down five spaces. And then we have a positive two right here, which is the run. So then we're gonna go over, or to the right, two spaces. Okay, so again, starting from our point right here, we're gonna go down five spaces. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna go over two spaces. So one, two. Okay, so we just found another point that runs through our line, right? So now that we have our two points, now we can graph this. Okay, so again, remember this was our point 
negative three comma two, and then this was our other point that we found. So we draw, so we drew the straight line between them. Okay, but like I said, if you wanted to, we could have used this slope as well, and we would have gotten the exact same thing. Okay, so in this case, I have a positive five and a negative two, right? So this means I would have gone up five, and then in this case, since I have a negative number for my run, that means I would have moved two spaces to the left, okay? So if we took this one and applied it to our original point right here, negative three comma two, so again, I would go up five spaces, so one, two, three, four, five, and then I would go two spaces to the left, since in this case it's a negative number, right? So I'd go one, two, and then you can see right here that I still landed on my line, right? So I would have drawn my point right there, my original points right there, and then I still would have drawn this exact same line, okay? So again, when you have a negative slope, make sure you put your negative sign either on top or on the bottom, but not both, okay? But either one will work. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.